Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Today we have quite the interesting uh, topic. We are going to discuss the differences between Photopea and Photoshop. Now, first of all, Photoshop, this is a software or program that most people are familiar with or have heard of before. Photoshop has been around for a very long time. I personally have been using Photoshop for over a decade. Um, so it's something I have uh, experience with. The thing is, Photoshop is not accessible for everyone because it is paid a subscription model uh, to be exact. What about Photopea? Photopea is a free browser uh, clone slash alternative of Photoshop. Here is Photopea. Just go to photopea.com and you can see here is our uh, interface. And we are going to take a look at Photopea and see how it compares to Photoshop and if it has the adequate tools. So let's open a new file on both and we're going to compare and contrast um, some of the tools available. Okay, new project. Let's go for 1920, 1080. Okay, so here we are and uh, right off the bat, you can tell the interface is clearly uh, different. Now in the case of Photopea, um, it looks far more deprecated. Uh, can we adjust the interface here? If we go into more, where is the preferences? Oh, here it is. Um, we have guides, we have grid. Okay. It's pretty cool. Uh, we have no option uh, to adjust the interface. So that is the first thing. Now let's explore the tools. We're going to make a new layer. And right here, we're going to set a background color. Okay, we're going to go for a dark gray. So I usually, on Photoshop, I use Alt Backspace. I have spent hundreds of hours making these videos and also designing products for you guys. If you are a creator who is serious about their dreams and goals in creating game projects, or if you are a creative and a designer as well, who is looking to make a career out of designing, then you will appreciate these design resources I have created. If you're building an anime inspired game, well, we have interface kits just for that. If you want a free sample, you can get the preview bundle completely for free. So if you are serious, then check it out with the link below or gfxcomment.com. If you are not serious, these are not for you and you can ignore this message. All right. I hope you guys enjoy this video. So let's see if this works here. So alt and we're going to go backspace. All right. So that works. That is a useful shortcut text tool T T also works uh, to prompt the text tool. Let's go for the color white GFX comment like so. So on Photopea control alt T is going, it's going to be the free transform. And if we hold alt, we can scale this layer proportionally. So that is pretty cool. Uh, if we hit control A and we can go center like so, control D, deselect. Okay, so next, uh, let's try a layer. I'm gonna go right click and we have a clipping mask right here. We can use our brush tool. And in Photopea, we have opacity and flow. Uh, and also smooth. What is this? We have uh, pen slash stylus options or uh, controls right here. Now, in contrast, if we take a look at Photoshop's brush tool, we have smoothing, we have angle, we have opacity flow. Uh, Photo P is actually not too bad. Uh, here is our Photoshop uh, brushes panel, actual panel right here. Here in Photo P, uh, we have a much more simple version however uh, we have some presets right here we have custom marker inking which is pretty cool let's turn hardness hardness down and then uh, we could go for some kind of color here for example blue and it is going to be slower because we are on the uh, browser but this seems to work quite fine as you can see now how about the shapes that we need to actually create some ui let's take a look so we have the rectangle 
We have ellipse, line, parametric shape, and custom shape. Let's go for a rectangle. We have a corner radius. We could go for 25, for example. Let's go for a basic shape, just like so. And let's explore the uh, blending options right here. I'm gonna go for gradient overlay. So let's see if we can create some decent uh, UI here. Let's go for a nice, simple gradient here, just like so. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna hit okay, okay. Let's add a stroke. I'm gonna go for a gradient. So we have this option uh, here, which is pretty cool. Um, so far, so good with Photopedia. Uh, can I, there we go. Now I can actually see my stroke here. Um, this looks pretty cool. I'm gonna go forward to this, I guess. Like here, okay, and we can change the angle. Offset, we have opacity, size, um, three is fine here. Let's go okay. Um, I wanna lower the opacity. Or actually, lower the gradient opacity. 90, and also fill 90. Boom. I like this so far, and Let's try to do some uh, cool stuff here. If we, if we go for a rectangle, I will go opacity lower. And then with the uh, shape we have here, I'm gonna go for a gradient. And then go for a blue. Right here. Close up, okay. Thanks for that. Um, I'm going to, all right, we have angle here. Cool, 45, I'm gonna go. Filter, blur, and gosh, blur. Okay, we got a rasterize. Rasterize there, so rasterize there. Filter, blur. Um, we have some pretty nice filters here, actually. We have all these. We have uh, these stuff like motion, gosh, and blur which is uh, quite nice. So we can blur this out for like a, you know, a cool little effect, right? <laughs> like this, you know? Um, okay, let's see what other stuff we can do. We can use our ellipse, actually. Uh, I'm gonna go for the color white, and then we can also I'm gonna create some cool effects here. Give me a second. Kind of like this right here. Okay. Oops. Let me go. Um, Rasterize here. So some shortcuts don't work the same way. Do not work the same way. Uh, motion blur. This is not enough. A hundred is. Or too little. 300. Let's go for a thousand. Okay. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Take a look. Wow. <laughs> if you ask me, I think you could do a lot with what appear. Let's go rotate. Enlarge. I think. And then we go for gosh. There we go. That is gorgeous. Okay. Here we have a bunch of blend modes here as well. As you can see, kind of laggy, but uh, that is to be expected. Um, okay, so control U for hue also works. Um, this thing we have to rasterize it yourself. Okay. Control U, and now we can modify the colors like so. Pretty cool. We can, if we hold, oops, if we hold Alt and drag a layer, it will make a copy uh, right for us here on the canvas, which is quite nice. We go for motion blur. I don't know what I'm making. I'm just gonna play around. Um, so, what is my verdict? Is Photopea a viable alternative for Photoshop?
Now, as um, our exploration here shows, Photopea actually has a surprisingly um, good selection of Photoshop-like tools. We have uh, Basic Move, we even have Artboard, we have the Rectangular Select, Ellipse, uh, we have Lasso, let's see the pencil here. Um, yeah, I mean, this is not bad, actually. Uh, you also have the option for shape here to automatically uh, create a filled shape. We can paint some uh, shadows here, as you can see. So some basic shadows here and try to create a nice 3D form here. Oops, all right. And uh, yeah, <laughs> we got a a cooler shape here we have a drop shadow and now uh, we get some background shapes and then we can group copy flatten filter blur uh, let's go for I don't know radio if okay all right that is cool look at that all right so my final verdict and conclusion is that I do believe Photopea is viable, is a viable option to create Roblox UI with. So for free software, um, you can create a lot of great UI. However, the only concern is if you're making like a large scale project, like a full game UI, that might become cumbersome or be an uh, inefficient workflow. I guess you will have to uh, consider and decide that for yourself and what you are personally trying to accomplish um so it's just gonna require some discernment uh, the idea for this video was mainly to compare photoshop and photopea but um here i mostly spent my time exploring photopea itself um to see if it has the same tools that i often use hopefully this answers some questions for you guys and and yeah if you want design assets check out our store we have plenty of stuff for you besides that i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video